Hey, Rory, what's going on? Hey, Paul. Yeah, how you doing? Good. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, mate. I've seen the other ones and really enjoyed them. So what? very keen. Glad you do. It's kind of cool to get to talk to people like this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, especially when we're this far apart and I mean, different time zones. So pumped. I'm really pumped. So yeah, we were messaging earlier. We're what, 14 hours ahead? You're, or you're, you're 14 hours ahead. You're already in Monday. Yeah, my like Monday's almost through. done. <laughs> <I know. laughs> and you're just just starting. So yeah, it's what we were talking about setting up a time. It's now three o'clock in the afternoon here. And what yeah, there? Just gone 1 a.m. here. So 1 a.m. Yeah. just turned Monday. So I, I'm barely out of Sunday and you're halfway through Monday. <laughs> <laughs> you got the short straw here. But thanks for doing it, mate, especially at that time there. I mean, yeah, it's yeah. a sacrifice. No, no, no. It's great. I, I've been trying to figure out how to how we're going to work this out. But, you know. Like I said, yeah, I was messaging. I'm I'm up all the time, so this is good. Good as time as any, and our connection is yeah, good. We're about ten thousand miles away. Yep, okay. yep, a different side of the world. Now, thanks for this, mate. I appreciate no, it. No, thanks for coming on. Happy to be here. Um, so, I don't know a ton about you, but so tell me a little bit. You're you're in Australia. Yeah, yeah. So uh, obviously, for the people that don't know me, my name's Rory Barron. Also got a, a YouTube channel, uh, mostly doing landscape photography. I'm based out of Brisbane in Queensland, Australia, which is on the East Coast. Um, and, but I was born in the UK, so my accent's a bit of a, a, bit of a mess. Uh, <laughs> but I, I've lived here most of my adult life. I, um, I, I lived in China for a couple of years. Um, but yeah, mostly I'm based here in Brisbane. I don't see myself moving anywhere else anytime soon. All right. You um, just recently had a baby too. I know that. That's it. Yeah, he was born. Congratulations. Uh, Chris Thank you. It's been a been a good year. Christmas Eve, he was born. So, um, yeah, he decided to come on a special day. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. So, yeah, pretty much just this year, you know, with COVID, being at home and um, uh, mostly at home and just looking after him and working. But, um, yeah, so it's been good fun. And with the, a bit of free time on the weekends trying to set up this YouTube thing. So, yeah, it's going with. Yeah, the videos look fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. It's a challenge. I, I got into it thinking... I like photography and I played around with cameras for a bit, so can't be too hard to film. And then I realized how hard it is to vlog and yeah. take photos. Oh uh, yeah, it's uh, tough. It's exciting. Tough, tough. We're, uh, so for, I mean, we have a, quite a few UK uh, uh, watchers, listeners, followers. Uh, where, where were you born at in the UK? Um, in Wiltshire. Um, I, I wish I could tell more about where it was. All I remember was like Stonehenge was uh, uh, the local... So probably down, sites that down people south knew. then yeah 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 i think it was south um is it west of london i think i don't yeah i, I think it's, recall, it's but... south you know south of where i go to visit and then west of london so yeah i've never been yeah, down to yeah. that part yeah pretty like countryside beautiful place there was lots of farmland lots of walks um we used to go through um you know long walks through the woodlands and stuff and i think that's really impacted what i like in photography um, so you'll see me complaining a lot of channels like, oh, I miss the English woodlands. You guys are so lucky. <laughs> and every time I go to the, my local woodlands, I really miss it. So yeah, that's where I was, I was born. So when did you, when did you get into photography? Um, I mean, I was always probably when I was in high school. Um, yeah, I, I, my first camera, I guess was a Fuji film was a compact camera S one 500 or something like this. It yeah. was it was nice. I got it for a birthday and kind of taught me how to play, uh, play around with uh, manual and stuff like that. But the photos I took in it were horrible. I, I've <laughs> seen some of them recently and it was just completely wrong. But that was high school. And then I, I guess what influenced me was uh, my dad. He was super into photography and he was really good at photography. He has a real talent and an eye for it. Um, so it was high school. And then I got a Canon 200D. It was a crop sensor. Yeah. And then quickly realized that I need to upgrade. I, I kind of just wanted that larger sensor and I love low light photography stuff at nighttime. Mm -hmm. So um, that's then when I went for my full frame, but I'd say I started in high school, but didn't get serious about it until probably like two, three years ago uh, was when I was, I realized my passion for it. Yeah. So what are you shooting now? What kind of camera? Uh, my baby's here. Uh, it is my Sony a7 III. Oh, yeah. it looks so chunky on this, doesn't it? Because I got the L frame recently. All of the YouTubers telling me I have to get it. There you go, twins. 
I got the A7. <laughs> is it? This is the R3. You're the big bro. Yeah, I, I actually have the three as well. I use the three oh, yeah. for uh, portraits, but I, the R3 I use for landscapes. But great camera. Yeah, too, I mean, it, they're wonderful. I I um I actually convinced my dad to get one recently as well, just because he was playing around with this. And so they're wonderful cameras. Um, you can't really go wrong nowadays, though. But yeah, the Sony. Um, a7 III, I got a good deal earlier in the year on this one, actually. So only recently upgraded to full frame. Um, I wish I got it earlier, but yeah, uh, each their own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, it's, yeah. it's not the cheapest uh, hobby or profession, is it? You know, God, no. God, no. Guess it's a, a whole deep hole, isn't it? The, the world of gear. You have yeah. one thing, you want another. And yeah. the amount of people saying get an L-frame when I kept on tilting my camera... Uh, I've got a lot of... Um, oh, you're talking about the L bracket, comment. right? The, oh, yes. Yeah, the yeah, L bracket. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, yeah, I got mine on there right now. Uh, yeah, I like it. It's a bit chunky, you know, kind of... But it's it's good to use. Um, it kind of goes against the point of having a light mirrorless camera, but yeah, man, it's handy. No, it so is, yeah, Sony, it Sony at the moment. Um, I still got a, a Canon for my uh, vlogging camera. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's for my, my stills. Yeah, what kind of Canon are you? Is it the M50 or what? Whatever YouTuber uses, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the M50. Yeah, it's, I almost bought one good. myself, but I bought that Sony um, ZV1 when it came out. It was between that yeah. and the Canon M50, but uh, you can't yeah. go wrong either way. Yeah, I think that's. Um, I, I was looking at that as well, but I think it was more this the, the price of the M50. I think was a little uh, a little less. A little I'm not bit. too sure yeah. about the the pricing of the Sony one, but. I smart move to stay in the Sony family, but yeah, I mean, both are fine for what, what I'm doing at the moment. Yeah. yeah. They're, I don't think you can go wrong with either one. They're fantastic. What, uh, I love them. so are you, um, are you doing photography as a business or are you, do you have another job that you're currently doing and you do this on the side yeah. or with plans of becoming yeah. full time? I would, I would, my, I guess the dream is definitely going to go full time. Yep. Um, I haven't really thought too much about how to to monetize it or anything like that. So I think for me, YouTube is more so. Um, I, I, I started it just to kind of be part of this community and get feedback and to interact with people because in my circle here, there's not much photographers yeah. that are into landscape photography. So the more I was watching on YouTube and I realized that you know, that's something I want to get into and I love the video editing. So um, one day, if it does work out to be full time, that'd be awesome. Um, but at the moment, yeah, no, my, my full-time job is I, I do international trade. It's very different to photography, um, but it was another interest of mine early on. I, I did like traveling and international culture, learning about different cultures, and uh, which led me into international trade, which is what I'm doing at the moment. All right. And I, are you working from home uh, through this whole COVID thing then? Yeah, most of the time. Going back to office now, I think a couple of times a week. Um, we've been pretty lucky here in Queensland that we haven't had too many cases, it's not Good. compared to the US. So, I mean, the situation there, I think it's getting pretty bad, isn't it? But, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah, I mean, so, you got to stay at home. You had, the, you had your baby, you know, got extra time with him then. So it's kind of worked out, I think. Pretty much the whole time. Yeah, I had good some leave you, after he was born in December. And then I was going to go back to the office. I went back to the office for probably a month. And then COVID hit. So just been working from home. Um, so I'm practically sat in this seat <laughs> the whole year if I'm not working <laughs> and then I'm editing or something. And um, yeah, I've put on a lot of weight, but <laughs> I think that's just the COVID belly, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, me too. Man. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. I, in, fa so. in fact, I'm only filming from like chest up right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why you'll see me film. Like whenever I'm filming, it's dark t-shirts. I'm doing the Ricky Gervais thing. Just wear all black. <laughs> that's awesome. But, um, yeah. I think we were messaging on the side your restrictions are starting to ease a little bit. So what, what do you have uh, planned as far as, uh, uh, getting out there and blogging in different places throughout Australia? Yeah. Yeah. So we can travel further in the state now and we can go into states, I think if not now, pretty soon. So, Goals are, I want to go to New South Wales. I want to go to the mountains. Um, my wife has been uh, wanting to go to uh, up north. You may know there's a whole bunch of islands up there yeah. near the Great Barrier Reef, um, Whitsunday Islands, beautiful clear water. I've never been. I've lived in Queensland for quite a long time and never been. So I want to go up there. Um, that's, 
I guess, in hopefully this year, if not, it'd be early next year. Uh, so it's all going to be domestic travel, but there's talk of a travel bubble between Australia and New Zealand. So I'd okay. love to go to New Zealand um, because just beautiful, stunning landscapes there. Yeah. I mean, it's really one of the most beautiful places on earth from what I understand, right? Yeah. I mean, it's stunning. I, I watch a few guys and in New Zealand, it's just insane. But yeah. where I live in, in Queensland, it's quite flat, quite dry. Um, it, contrast is pretty massive but yeah so mostly it's going to be local travel uh actually at end of this week i'm going my next video or video after that will be i'm going to a local dam here and I'm, i was hoping to do astrophotography but it looks like the moon's going to be pretty big so i'm not too sure how that's going to go um but we'll see yeah i'm i'm, I'm getting ready to do some uh, astrophotography we have like another window here coming up on uh i think it's around the 17th of october so I haven't done too much of it, but uh, I'm going with a guy who does do it a lot. So we're going to go out to the middle yeah. of the Everglades, which is a big swamp here. And uh, oh, there's nice. some real dark spots away from all the, the city lights. So mm. pretty excited Astro about is... that. Yeah, I look forward to seeing that. You, you'll be filming it? Yeah, I'm going to try to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it... I need to get... Go ahead. Sorry, you go. Nope, go. I was just going to say I need to get some LED lights or a headlight. I don't have. So... That's why I've not filmed at night yet, because um, I see a lot of uh, a lot of YouTubers do use them. So if anyone has a recommendation, like a, head, like a headlamp or headlamp or just yeah. an LED light, so that I can be seen in the darkness, because yeah. it gets pretty dark at these places we're going. Oh, I'm sure. So um, if, if you travel north from where you're at, it, does it become more tropical then? Definitely, yeah. I mean, it's interesting where we are. There's like the Great Dividing Range, um, where there's a lot of mountains, and they're kind of tropical, uh, rainforesty. Uh, waterfalls but yeah if you go north um it's uh, tropical it's hot all year round uh, you get lots of cyclones so it's a completely different type of environment sure that sounds like uh, uh more like florida yeah. environment yeah yeah I, I think that our summers are probably similar uh it gets very humid lots of mosquitoes and yeah <laughs> stormy weather uh, but up north you're right it's very tropical it's beautiful there's the uh, you may have heard of it, a place called the daintree um, yeah 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 I've been wanting to go there for a long time. Lovely rainforest, uh, stunning place. That's also on my hit list. Um, but the problem is I need to get some leave <laughs> yeah, yeah. to go up there. Now, what happens if you travel south? What is it? What does the landscape become like? I, oh, more and more like, uh, in my opinion, more and more like the UK. Uh, if you go far down south to like Tasmania, um, that is when I visited there, it reminded me a lot of England, um, colder, you get, uh, you can kind of actually have four seasons there. Whereas here it's pretty much just summer and a cooler summer. Sure, <laughs> There's no yeah. autumn spring passes pretty quickly. So it becomes more and more seasonal, which, which I like. So, uh, I and may if, end up moving down south one one day because I do love it, and I'm not very good with the heat. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you head west, it's like just desert, right? Yeah, out back you got yeah desert, um, uh, very dry. But there also are some mountainous areas. Um, and then, of course, if you go all the way west to Perth, that is a very sandy, very yeah. um, you know that's where all the mining happens, all the iron mines. So it's that's the good thing about Australia is it, you've got so many different terrains, different scene, like different scenery wherever you go, but it's just so, so big that you have to fly around. Yeah. If you drive, it's going to take forever. Um, and each city is quite far apart, apart from on the East coast. So if you're, if you're driving, you better take a good caravan and be prepared. <laughs> I mean, it, it's a lot like living here then. I, I, I think our, I mean, you're a continent, but we're a country, but um yeah, I think we're, our size square miles is like relative, you know, um, you know, yeah. I can't just pick up in the, in the car and go to California, you know, because it would take four days. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm sure it's similar driving, you know, over to Perth, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Which, so I've never done that. I, it's like also something I want to do one day. It'd be awesome just to drive across the country. Well, sure. Yeah. But I'm also worried. I think we've spoken about it before in the past about all the wildlife and things that can happen and simple things like the, when you drive out back the amount of roadkill you see and kangaroos because they're pests they're everywhere um you know you may people may say you're more scared of snakes and stuff to be honest i'm more scared of hitting something in the outback i'm sure um, and, yeah, and, and there's probably not much out there like uh to come to your rescue right 
No, it's yeah, wide no. open. Yeah, you got to wait. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, I'm I, obviously being English. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here as well that I do worry about. Like in my last video, we would have seen I was worried about the snakes. Yeah. So I think it's the same there. You have is it alligators? Yeah, yeah we have out. Well, we have both. We have alligators, uh, which are you know, you know, we have more alligators than crocodiles, but. The farther south mm. here in Florida you go, you get the the saltwater crocodiles, which to me are terrifying because alligators yeah. are pretty, um, you know, you don't want to mess with them, but they'll leave you alone too for the most part. I guess the crocodiles are very aggressive. So, um, you know, it, yeah. it, it just seems like a horrible way to die, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Getting dragged onto the water. And that's the sad thing, especially for photography, where a lot of the time you want to get in the water to get up close to you know, get your wide angle lens out and, but it's too risky. Uh, yeah. It's the same thing here. I wanted to get, there's all these long grasses and I wanted to get them as the foreground. Um, but it just looked like snake heaven and it was been dry recently. So I wondered if they'd be out and looking for food sure. or water. So you've always got to consider these things. It's, I've never had any real issues, but it's something to look out for, isn't it? It's, it's just some of the stuff that we see on TV here pertaining to, all the deadly animals that you have. I mean, like I remember watching a crocodile hunter where he had, um, I think the snake is just called a, a brown snake, which is one of the most poisonous snakes yeah, in the yeah. world. And it crawled up inside his shirt and you see all the blood drain from his face. Like he was <laughs> like literally terrified. And yeah. you know, the, he would always talk about these um, Sydney funnel web spiders or something like that. Yeah, that are yeah. just, and then you have the box jellyfish and the great whites and, you know, yep. kangaroos. <laughs> yeah, vicious boxing kangaroos. I mean, we have our fair share of crazy stuff here, you know, different kind of bears and uh, mountain lions yeah, and that's things we like don't that. Have. And, yeah, it's just, no. Nope. Yeah, the so, one that scares me the most is just the small things that can hide because you'll get these um, uh, little spiders, uh, redbacks, they're called, that will be under like toilet seats or, uh, <laughs> and they're tiny and, but they're super super poisonous yeah. um or snakes that could just be hiding under the rim of the toilet why am i talking about toilets i don't know but they hide in lots of little places like that so oh man they're, that i'm more worried about them than crocs <laughs> yeah and, and that's what you have is crocodiles right not out not alligators right yep. just crocodiles which are just, just terrifying that's it yeah, yeah and they're, and, they're and, quite common up north and then you have the people here who are just very like at ease being out in in that kind of thing like um uh, you know yeah people you know is it uh, i saw mike's pretty brave isn't he, he gets mike out. mike is brave paul yeah. ferrace is very brave um <laughs> with that kind of thing um the guy I've that i interviewed on, on the show last week dan from colorado he walks around the the mountains of colorado with all these you know big bears you know he says he's never seen one but they're out there i've, I've, I've lived out <laughs> they're there. watching I, him I, they are watching <laughs> him. but uh yeah you gotta be careful mate i mean that you got some bigger animals over there well, and then Adrian had that one video with those two, uh, those two snakes. I don't know if you saw that one. Yeah, jumping off in from the waterfall or something, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Terrifying. Yeah. Don't worry. Uh, my photography is a lot less. Uh, I'm trying to make them a bit more calm because I need that with photography. I like it as a bit of a, a, a break from <laughs> the daily hustle. So I like you know calm woodlands and stuff like that. So I try exactly. and avoid the wrestling bears. <laughs> Definitely. Hey, um, so we're running out of time, unfortunately. I'm trying to, I, I'm having to keep it this a little bit shorter, unfortunately, because the, our upload times here are just so slow. It's taken me like 10 hours to upload one video, which is crazy, Jeez. right? Um, but I, I want everybody so to, to, that don't, don't follow you. you. So you have a, obviously you have a YouTube channel. Um, so definitely want people to go follow you on there because I, I think what you yeah. did is great. You know, the, especially the last two videos. Um, oh, thanks, where you man. were going through the uh, the wetlands that weren't really wet at the time. And then the one you did from the <laughs> beach, your seascape one was great. I thought that mm. was fantastic. Um, uh, thank you, you very much, Paul. But you're on Instagram too, right? Yeah, I, I've only got YouTube and, and Instagram. Uh, Facebook, I haven't, I, I wasn't on it too much personally, so I didn't really set anything up um, for photography. I, I may look into it, but at the moment, yeah, Rory Barron on, um, on, on YouTube and my Instagram is Rory Barron Photography. Cool. It's really creative. Um, but yeah, <laughs> if you can come check it out, give me some feedback, uh, let me know what you think. It'd be well appreciated. Well, I'm going to link all your stuff, both your, your channel and your Instagram in the description here below. Um, but yeah, you know, it's, awesome. uh, yeah, I, I think your stuff's great. You know, it's, uh, I appreciate it. it I, I'm, I, I'm still learning, mate, but uh, we, 
I, I really enjoy it. And I love the community we've got here on YouTube. It's the, uh, it's a lot of, um, I guess, similar, uh, like-minded people, uh, yeah. lots of interaction and like, yeah. Everybody's real so, supportive and super friendly. And the more I get to meet people and talk to people like this, I mean, th this was my, uh, um, my idea behind this whole channel was to maybe if I can get you a couple more subscribers, you know, it helps me too. Um, but then just to get here and just talk to people from around the world is like been the, the best part of it for me. And yeah, I think this is yeah. episode number five that I've done. And, um, first one, farthest one away, the first one from Australia. So, um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, but we worked out that I appreciate it, mate. Thank you so much. And thanks for your support of the channel so far. And, uh, yeah. I, really well, I, I look it. forward. I, what do you have a specific day that you release on or is it just whenever you get one ready? I, I tried, but no, it's, it's just any day at the moment. I, I did try for two days a week, but with work and everything, it's just gone to, I, I try for once a week. Um, just to, yeah, I generally only have the weekends to, to try and cram stuff yeah. in. Yeah. 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 Plus with the new it's baby. Usually weekends. <laughs> yeah. With a baby as well. So it's a uh, full-time dad kind of, and also full-time employer employee. Well, well the whole full-time dad's not a bad deal either. Nah, it's yeah, it's the best job, mate. <laughs> it, it is. I have two myself. You know, I mean, they're older yeah. now, so they're pretty. They're more self sufficient. Yeah, I, I one of my favorite videos of yours is when you told your son to move out because you needed the room. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I What's funny like is that. now he comes over every Sunday now to because um, he doesn't have like you know like cable or satellite at his house. So he comes over to watch uh, American football, and you know he oh, that's cool. He'll come over. At, you know, the beginning of the day and he'll be here all day long. And now that we have a basketball team in the, the championship finals here, uh, he's over here uh, watching that too. So, you know, it's, it's, it's almost, you know, he's eating our food and, you know, he does his laundry. He'll, he'll it's, move like in. Been, it's like he's never moved, moved out. So. Yeah, that's cool. That's good though. All right, Rory. Hey, it was really great to talk to you. Really great to meet you. And yeah, thanks uh, a lot, Paul. yeah uh, you know, for anybody who's watching, please go follow Rory on uh, Instagram and his YouTube channels. It's just great stuff. It's fantastic. Thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate it. Eh? All right, man. Well, thanks for coming on tonight. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. All right, buddy. Have Chat a great soon. night. All right. Take care. Thanks. Bye. Bye.